is Daria Grigoriou and I'm a program manager here to talk to you about the Azure Functions and Linux preview. The Azure Functions programming model is already available for local development across platforms. This is made possible by the Azure Functions Runtime 2.0 powered by .NET Core. This programming model includes all the great differentiating features you may already be familiar with if you use Azure Functions. Triggers for reacting to events, bindings for connecting to other cloud services, and development tooling to get your business solutions ready for production quickly. With the functions on Linux preview, this Linux and Mac-based local development now translates seamlessly to Linux-based hosting in the cloud for Azure Functions. Because we use containers for Linux hosting, you will have more flexibility in bringing specific dependencies for your functions. If your solution is already invested in a container-based application lifecycle management model, that can be extended easily to include Azure Functions. Because everything is container-based, you can move easily across hosting platforms and avoid vendor lock-in. However, you may find that you still prefer to host your solution on app service because platform features and managed scaling can make your life easier. So let's talk about hosting options. With the Azure Functions and Linux preview, we have two hosting modes available on app service. Both of them are dedicated at this time. For the first hosting mode, you bring your function app content and you host on app service managed containers. This means no additional concepts beyond Azure Functions and no Docker container knowledge would be required. For the second hosting mode, you bring your own Docker container, including the Azure Functions Runtime 2.0, specific dependencies, and your function app content. This hosting mode brings you the most flexibility. To illustrate, we will look at small demos for each of these hosting modes. For the demos, we are going to use an HTTP triggered function that is writing PDF crop health reports to blob storage. This connects to the blob storage to write the reports, and it connects to Cosmos DB to read information about the crop health. To run this locally, we can use our Azure Functions tooling. And as we start the runtime, we can have um, a local URL that we can use to send requests to this function. And once we send requests to the local URL, we can see a confirmation here once our PDF report is generated and we can check the blob storage to see the report. And this is the exact same format that we'll be using throughout the demos. To run the same content in Azure, we can create a function app running on Linux via the Azure portal, or we can use the Azure CLI. Here, I am using the Azure CLI with the function app create command and I am passing some parameters for the resource group, the app service plan, and the storage account that were already created. Once my function app is available, we can also see this function app running in the Azure portal and we can manage it through the Azure portal. So this is the resource group that I was using. Here, I can um, set up source control integration so I can deploy my local content to it. And I'm going to select local git. I see a confirmation that source control deployment was successfully set up. And I can copy the git URL and deploy the code from the local repo. I'm required to provide credentials that were already set up for deployment.
Because I'm connecting to external resources, I also have to configure app settings. So going back to the Azure portal, I can configure my um, app settings. The first one is um, the connection string to my blob storage. And the second one is my Cosmos DB connection. Let's save the app settings. And we get a confirmation that app settings were updated. And now we can use this URL to validate the same content is running in Azure. And this request includes the name of the report to generate and also the title of the report. So we can easily validate based on different report names. And here, um, if we refresh the blob storage, this is the report that was generated with the same function content running in Azure. We also talked about running this in a custom container. To run in a custom container, first I created a Docker file that contains all the information for me to create a custom container image. I have already created that container image and it's available here in Docker Hub. And I can use this to create a new function app this time specifically pointing to my custom container image. And just like before, I am also pr providing the resource group, the app service plan, and the storage account information. Here is the host name that I can use to validate. And again, we have a different report name. So let's check the storage. And there we go. Exact same result with this function app content running in a custom container in Azure App Service. We talked about running functions anywhere. And in this case, I'm also running functions, the same function, in fact, in um, Azure Container Instances. And this is my ACI container based on the same image. This is running, so we can quickly go validate it. And this is also able to generate the same report. So there we go. Our content is running across hosting options and across hosting modes. To learn more about the Azure Functions and Linux preview, please visit AKMS Functions Anywhere. Thank you.